first of all, I want to just apologize because it seems that I was wrong about Coach Greg. Got some grapes here. Yes, sir. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So, continuing on with the Coach Greg thing. Coach Greg keeps commenting, so I'm gonna respond. But, first of all, I wanna just apologize because it seems that I was wrong about Coach Greg. Now, if Coach Greg did in fact watch my video, he would have seen I was complimenting him for being a straight talker. I appreciate how he doesn't sugarcoat things. Maybe he would appreciate me being a straight talker to him, but it seems like I was completely wrong about him. Seems like uh, old mate Coach Greg can dish it out, calling people a moron for like giving crappy training advice. I clicked the video to find out why people are so stupid. You're an idiot. So he's a stupid moron. This guy doesn't know anything about what he's talking about. Consistently, constantly making videos criticizing fitness YouTubers. But as soon as it's done back to Coach Greg, he turns into a little man baby <laughs> and starts like, I don't know, like really being a bit of a sook and uh, just being, I don't know, like it feels a bit childish. So the full story is, we'll just be really brief here because just watch the other videos, boom, boom, boom. But I made a video about Coach Greg and Ali a while back and it was super polite, super educational, really encouraging to Ali because she was like, you know, on the border of like changing her lifestyle. So Coach Greg didn't even acknowledge that video. Come like six months later or whatever, like Coach Greg makes a comment in a video saying like, I eat meat, I don't support animal abuse. I eat meat. I don't abuse animals! Which is absolutely silly, like he's, if you're buying the products of animal abuse, financially supporting it and then putting it in your cookbook and, you know, telling everyone, hey, buy these products of animal abuse, of course you support animal abuse, so like, let's call a spade a spade, Coach Greg. Anyways, Coach Greg uh, commented on that video and said, oh, you know, just because we don't have the same beliefs does not make me a bad person. Then he started asking questions and then he, he said, let's hear your video based on the hierarchy of animal abuse. So then I made another video <laughs> and I was like, oh great, let's respond point for point in a uh, cordial fashion, because uh, that video, my last video was complimenting throughout the video. I even said, you know, you should follow Coach Greg for other advice because he does bring a lot of value. You know, maybe Coach Greg missed all of that, but he has actually commented again and disappointed once again. Let's read his first comment, which was uh, five hours ago from the time this video was being filmed. It says, no, the fact that you call me an animal abuser when I in fact too more difficult being vegan and 99% of you is what makes you a bad person. So, Coach Greg, I cannot even decipher your first statement. You are a smart guy, you have got a master's in kinesiology, why didn't you spend the time to just proofread this so I can have good dialogue with you? Look, if you're afraid of truth, the truth is that when you purchase products of animal abuse, you support products of animal abuse, why do you think vegans avoid it? <laughs> why would we ethically avoid animal foods if there was nothing wrong with them? <laughs> Dude, we'll just do what you do. <laughs> of course we avoid it for a specific reason, because we've analyzed the logic behind supply and demand, and we don't want to support products of animal abuse. You're a smart guy. Why don't you just analyze that logic instead of being a little man, baby? <laughs> You're five years old in imagination land. Wake up and grow and turn into a six-year-old. And, uh, you know, just, I don't know, just brushing off responsibility. It pisses me off. So, it says, you don't want to see me making videos calling out everyone for abuse for everything they, that they've done. Like, we're, we're not calling you out for your history. We're calling you out for what you're doing and promoting now. And you do make videos calling out everyone. <laughs> A stupid moronic trainer coach. Some of them moronic and stupid. Think how stupid these people are. Ah, these morons and they don't know how to make it. I got to 100,000 by calling everyone morons and stupid. So that's how you got a million subs. You call out massive uh, YouTubers. You do it constantly, consistently, but you don't like it being done back to you, Coach Greg, do you? You watch every single video about you and then you claim you don't watch them. It's quite crazy, dude. Like, I can't believe you can't see that all I'm doing is what you do when you, when you hear someone say something silly. And he's like, all you're doing is creating a divide amongst vegans, vegetarians, and mediators. Maybe he's talking about meat eaters. Maybe it's a spell problem. And promoting hate. Where did I promote hate, Greg? Where did, you didn't even watch my videos. You didn't watch them if you think I'm promoting hate. Because you can watch my videos and learn. And if you didn't watch all my videos, that's your fault. 
I'm calling a spade a spade. If you buy purchase products of animal abuse, you support products of animal abuse. Like, dude, this is just, oh, this is crazy, Greg, mate. I honestly thought so much better of you, mate, eh? If anything, your videos where you call me out, I'm going to make more people want to eat more meat and not have any interest in being part of the vegan community because what you're doing is getting other people who are vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian a bad name. Wow. So Coach Greg is doing the equivalent of like a meat-eating troll meme here where like you ask someone to like analyze, you know, the abuse in their diet and change or in their lifestyle and change and they go, well, you know what? Because you told me to go vegan, I'm going to eat twice as much meat. What you're essentially doing, Greg, is you're taking it away from what it really is about, which is the animals, which is what we're talking about here, and you're putting it on me and you're saying, hey, guess what, man? Because you've made a video about, you know, me saying I'm an animal abuser for supporting products of animal abuse, I'm actually going to support more animal abuse and harm more animals. Basically, just um, what you're doing is you're giving people who don't support animal abuse a bad name because you've called out someone who supports animal abuse. Like, Coach Greg, you're turning, this is level one stuff, dude. Level one stuff. What you're trying to do is avoid criticism. That's all you're doing. You're trying to avoid criticism and emotionally manipulate people who have legit criticisms, you know? It was very constructive what I said, mate. If you went back and had a look, maybe you should listen instead of just being all defensive. When I go to dinner with my friends and the bacon, I don't curse at them and punch them in the face just because I have a pet pig. So maybe he's meaning to say, when I go to dinner with my friends and they eat bacon, I don't curse at them and punch them in the face just because I have a pet pig. Did I curse at you, bro? Did I curse at you? Did I, did I ever threaten violence on you? I even said in my last video, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. You know, I said, I actually like you. I'm not asking anything bad to happen to you, bro. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I know why you haven't made a video response to this, because you like responding, you make two videos a day, and this would be right up your alley if you had a good argument against it, but you don't, so just admit it, man. You're not gonna admit it, because you're gonna see how stupid you are. I'm actually losing a bit of respect for you that I had, like, I like watching your stuff, but this showing a different side of you, bro, eh? This is him an hour later, so an hour later he commented again. An hour later. He Maybe he continued watching it? or something, because it was a 27 minute video, Coach Greg's busy guy, couldn't watch it all at once. He said, uh, I know just to please you guys, maybe I should stop creating vegan and vegetarian recipes and no longer add them to the cookbooks that I've been creating and probably I should cancel all my ideas for making vegetarian and vegan cookbooks because after all, I'm just an animal abuser, so why should I bother trying to help vegans and vegetarians? Pretty useless, I think. Instead, I'll just create several more meat-filled recipes because I mean, after all, all I am is an animal abuser, so why not just go all in? So what he's doing basically is he's threatening other vegans who haven't even said anything probably like him to stop creating vegan recipes uh, for them. You know, veganism is not vegetarianism. Vegetarianism is completely different. Um, you know, after all, I'm just an animal abuser. I'm going to cancel my ideas for making a vegan vegetarian cookbook um, and not going to bother trying to help other vegans. So basically, he's going to create more meat-filled recipes which abuse more animals because... You know, I'm just an animal abuser. Like, it's all... What, what you're doing is, like, emotional manipulation, a bit of blackmail in there. Like, you're not even addressing things. Like, you're not, you're not going, like, okay, let's be emotionally mature about this and, like, you know, analyse this and go, yeah, you know, you had some good criticisms. Thanks for the compliments, Joey. Like, appreciate that. Um, you know, I might look into this a bit more. You know, might, maybe I'll stop trying to brush off responsibility. Or oh, instead, Coach Craig starts to emotionally manipulate, blackmail, shoot the messenger, blame all other vegans, and threatens to abuse more animals and support more animal abuse. Okay, great one, Greg. Nice one. Maybe I'm overreacting. It's the first video they've ever watched. They don't know anything about me, and they're morons. All you're doing is pissing off people. You're not helping, you're not educating, you're not saying, hey, have you ever thought of this? Or did you consider this? This is how I know Coach Greg didn't watch the videos properly and that's fine, Like, he, but why comment? Why comment, dude? So if you wrote in a stupid comment before you even watched the video, then that just means you're a moron. He can't make a video response, so that's why he's commenting. I was uh, more polite to you than I've been to almost anyone in a response, like especially my first video, God. You know, my second video, yeah, I was giving you hard-hitting truth, thought you'd appreciate it. Turns out you're a very fragile person, um, more fragile than you make it out because it's okay for you to go and criticize every Tom, Dick, and Harry, but um, you know, you don't like it dumb back to you. Wow. So I'm gonna get into some of these morons on this video and explain why they're so stupid and why they're dumb. I don't know, you could blame your parents for being a moron. Idiots! I'm gonna give some examples here just to show you how stupid people are. Do you see how stupid every single person that says stupid? Is that the height of hypocrisy? I educated you perfectly fine. Plenty of information in my th Like, If you don't like the truth when you're being educated, if you don't like the truth that, hey, one plus one equals two when you purchase animal products, you're supporting animal abuse, then what's the point in educating you, dude? 
One minus one, is that zero? No, it could be one minus one of some. You know what I mean? They're, they overthink it. They just don't understand stuff. Education is about truth. You know, just because you don't like the, the truth doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> just because you don't like reality doesn't mean it ceases to exist. Like, come on, mate, your motto. Telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. God, like, it doesn't apply to you though, Coach Greg? Come on. Just focus on everything you don't like and try to spread hate. You're perfectly well in your rights to do that, so keep going and realize that the more people you piss off, the more people are going to hate vegans and vegetarians. There should be no hate for people, but what you're doing is just going to create further demand divide amongst the circles of the world. Uh, actually, like, you know, I could use that same same argument against you from constantly making uh, criticisms of other people, but you don't see the hypocrisy in that. Write comments on his wall, call him an idiot and a moron, and he is also stupid. You know, uh, I did focus on the good stuff. I did say you've got some vegan, veg uh, vegan recipes in your uh, cookbook, and I did say that you provide a lot of value. I even told my followers who are mostly vegan to go and follow you for other advice, just don't follow you, your advice on, you know, the animal products um so like you didn't watch my video obviously dude i did compliment you a lot and maybe more than you deserved based on your responses here you think you're helping but all you're doing is hurting and attacking me is not the type of person that you should be attacking when there's so many others in the world that are actually literally being abusive when you pay for animal products you support animal abuse there's no way around that dude well <sighs> Attacking me and my girlfriend is not a smart decision, not going to help you attract more vegans and vegetarians uh, from people who are meat eaters. Like Coach Greg, I've done pretty good being an animal rights activist, I've reached a lot of people, I've, you know, persuaded a lot of people to be vegan. You're just too afraid of the truth. Now, attacking your girlfriend, watch my first video about her, I was encouraging her. It's not an attack to say, hey, one plus one equals two. If you eat egg whites and support uh, the egg white industry and support egg industry, you're supporting the maceration of male chick. You're supporting the culling of uh, egg laying hens through mostly gassing. You're supporting immense suffering. This is not an attack, this is the truth. Trust me, your way of trying to promote being vegan, it's not working. It is not working. My way of trying to promote being vegan is just to be vegan. <laughs> to be vegan for the animals, for animal rights. Um, you know, uh, speaking the truth. You know what, Coach, Co Coach Greg? Your way of trying to promote, you know, health and fitness is really mean. You call people morons. You're full of shit! You don't make sense to anyone, except for the other stupid morons that write and read these things. You're constantly making videos about other people. Dr. Oz is a complete moron. Why are you being mean to all the other fitness people because they don't know what they're talking about, Coach Greg? So has Dr. Oz, an, is he another one of these idiots? Like, you sound like a big baby who can't take criticism, dude. Uh, for example, I'm not even listening or watching your video. I'm just writing comments because you're too annoying for me to even listen to. Whereas if you had made a proper video, I would have listened to it with an open mind but when you call someone an animal abuser they're actually automatically going to be defensive so you need to get some training on how to educate and how to create change in this world because you don't know what you're doing <laughs> well so you're not even listening or watching but you're commenting uh, which is uh, well you know your comments are pretty disconnected from the video I suppose so maybe you didn't even watch it but I do not believe you coach Greg you watch all the videos about you because you've got a pretty big ego and you don't like to be criticized and you love making response videos if you can respond to it as you know I'm correct 98 to 99 percent of the time on everything in life so if you want to bet against me, you're an idiot. This is probably one that you can't respond to and you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of a large audience. You don't really want to give this topic much airtime, do you? Because you're not really sure of yourself with this one. That's for sure, because you seem to be passing the buck a lot. You seem to be passing it onto the messenger, shooting the messenger. Oh, I didn't like the way you talked to me, Joey. Like, oh, you were a bit mean to me. Oh, I'm going to have to abuse more animals now. You're creating a divide. You're creating a divide. Well, no, you're thinking about this, aren't you? If I had made a proper video, I would have listened to it. Well, Greg, did you watch my first video? I was super polite, super educational. My second one, I thought I'd go a little bit harder on you because, you know, you're a grown person, you, you can take it, you give it out, you dish it out. Unfortunately, 50% of you are idiots. I'm sorry, but you are. You are. But you can't take it. <laughs> you wouldn't have listened with an open mind because you don't want to change your ways. You're looking for any reason not to change. And that's pretty apparent now, mate, because all you're doing is like spewing out little excuses, 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 instead of going, hey, is there ethical implications to what I'm doing? How about we analyze that? How about you analyze that and debunk that? Are there ethical implications to what you're doing in your lifestyle? Eating the flesh of dead animals. If paying for it doesn't support it, like if paying for child porn doesn't support it, why is it illegal? Because you're supporting the industry, aren't you? Which is horrific. Since when isn't buying meat supporting the industry? Dude, wake up. Wake up, Greg. Yeah, so like if you made a proper video, like my videos aren't proper, my first video, like here, like, watch it yourself, guys. Uh, you you analyze it yourself. Tell me if it was a proper video. Watch my last video, guys. Because more, more or less, like if Greg's not watching it, it's for other people anyway. You know, that's why I put it on a public 
platform so people can watch it and they can learn if the ones who are willing to learn who don't have a massive fragile ego like coach greg who's just can dish it so much criticism out but can't take the slightest criticism can't take the slightest criticism if you don't like being an animal abusing hypocrite coach greg you know what you should do change that's a big big plus to being a vegan you don't have to be a hypocrite anymore do you you know what i mean you know when i first changed i was like you know what man i've got out of gangs i've stopped beating people up in gangs and doing all these violent things and taking drugs and being, you know, not a very good person. And, uh, you know, what am I doing to these animals? I'm a hypocrite. I don't want people to hurt dogs. I don't want people to hurt the whales, save the dolphins. But I'm eating a cow, a fish, a tuna, you know, eggs that harm, harm egg-laying hens and macerate male chicks. So I changed. I called myself a hypocrite and I tried to not be one anymore. Maybe you should try that too, Coach Greg. Yeah, so basically any training on how to educate, which is what I do on the streets, Coach Greg. Maybe, you, you, maybe you, here, here you go, Coach Greg. Maybe you can train me on how to talk to you about this and then you'll change. You're full of shit. You don't make sense to anyone except for the other stupid morons that write and read these things. Maybe you should talk to yourself about how to change uh, your lifestyle to stop abusing animals. Maybe you know better than me. Yeah, so maybe you could uh, change yourself. Just remember, Coach Greg, it's not about me, it's not about any other vegan, it's about the animals. Animals didn't do nothing wrong to you, the animals didn't make a video about you, the animals didn't call you an animal abuser, but they probably would if they could, wouldn't they? But they can't speak, and you're taking advantage of them, you're eating their body parts, supporting the industries that abuse them, they have no voice in this society, and you're contributing to their horror. So that's my video on Coach Greg's uh, comments. If he comments again, I don't know if I'm gonna continue making videos about it. It's apparent that he's, uh, you know, he's not playing ball. He's just, ah, oh, I'm not listening to you because you were mean. And I tell people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear, but I can't take any criticism myself. I built my whole channel on criticizing other people, but, you know, I can't take criticism about eating meat. I must eat meat. Oh, my God, I'll die if I don't eat meat. It's like, here's some grapes. You know, it's just disappointing, Coach Greg. It's expected more, you know, and you don't have to go to Coach Greg for how to eat vegan. You can't make stupid protein ice cream. You're a freaking idiot. It's easy. Just switch out his, um meat recipes for vegan alternatives. Very easy. If it's got eggs, find vegan egg uh, replacements. If it's got meat, find vegan meat replacements. If it's got cheese, find vegan cheese. If it's got protein stolen from a dairy cow, just choose the vegan protein. Pretty simple. Anyways, that's my video. Don't know about Coach Greg. I hope he just takes his ego out of it, uses a bit of logic, and just uh, gets down off his pedestal for a second, just listens to what I'm actually saying. Instead of being defensive, Little man-child. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.